my beloved child, I come to you today with an open heart, seeking to impart my wisdom and truth. Lean in and listen, for when my spirit moves powerfully, divine instruction flows forth. As you apply my words to your life, transformation occurs, propelling you to new heights of my calling. There are realms of glory you cannot reach without my authorization, without the stamp of my approval and sending grace. Look around and you see many in power I have not ordained, who grasp riches and influence apart from me. In my timing, their false foundations will crumble as I establish my righteous ones in their place. The unjust accumulate wealth for a season, yet it is laid up for the righteous who walk in my ways. Those I have not authorized may temporarily prosper, but without my presence it is a hollow, sorrowful prosperity. My authorized ones inherit the true riches of an imperishable kingdom. A dazzling royal banquet is prepared, with guests adorned in finery befitting royalty. One who attempts entry without the proper credentials and is escorted out, while one holding the invitation from the king is welcome to the high table. Therefore, precious child, diligently inquire of me before accepting any position or relationship, requesting my commission and assignment. Where I send you, my grace abundantly attends to equip and prosper the work. But if my gracious hand of enablement lifts from an endeavor, relationship, or season, it signals a time of transition. When my grace departs, so must you, without delay. Follow my spirit closely, never clinging to that from which I have moved on. My movements are swift in due season, and you must be nimble and receptive to change with me. The path of obedience leads to overflowing blessing and favor as you walk in tandem with my forward stride. At this very hour I desire to reveal my heart to you. Listen intently for my voice of wisdom resonating within. These words transcend earthly origins if you have ears to hear. For my spirit blows as the wind where it desires, reaching hungry souls with timely manna. Receive what I have for you this day, for I knew and fashioned you with divine purpose before earth's foundations were laid. No power can disrupt my destined will for your life. Child, if you but knew the tender delight I receive in communing this way, you would cease all other pursuits to linger long in my presence. This is our secret place of the Most High, where my loving gaze transforms you ever deeper into my likeness. Understand this, my child. Every journey you undertake is under my watchful eye. You are not adrift in a sea of chaos, but sailing on a course charted by my hand. In your moments of doubt, remember my faithfulness. I am not a distant deity, but a loving Father who walks beside you even in your darkest valleys. The echoes of your heart do not go unheard. They reverberate in the chambers of my compassion. I am attuned to every sigh, every whispered prayer, every unshed tear. Seek me in the simplicity of your daily life, for I am there, weaving a story of grace in every detail. Your life is not a series of random events but a carefully orchestrated narrative where every chapter has its significance. In your interactions, be a vessel of my love. Every person you meet is a soul I cherish deeply. Your words, your actions can be a balm to the wounded, a light in someone's darkness. Be mindful, for you are my hands and feet in this world, tasked with spreading the warmth of my love. Remember, the pursuit of worldly success is fleeting, but the pursuit of a life lived in my will is eternal. Do not be swayed by the transient allure of material gain or societal approval. Your true worth is found in me, and your real treasure lies in the legacy of love and kindness you leave behind. My child, the future may seem shrouded in uncertainty, but trust in my unchanging nature. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and my plans for you are filled with hope and a future. 
Like a tree planted by the rivers of water, your roots will go deep and you will not be shaken. For in my presence is fullness of joy and in my right hand are pleasures forevermore. Your journey is unique, etched by my loving hand. Embrace each new day as an opportunity to experience my grace and to reflect my love to the world. How I yearn for my beloved to know my depths of love revealed through my Son. Receive afresh my lavish outpouring of grace today. Do not focus on past sins and regrets, for my mercy rejoices to erase every stain as far as the east is from the west. You are my workmanship and the apple of my eye. Listen for the song I am singing over you this day, a melody of joy and triumph. There is radical power in agreeing with my perspective of your identity that destroys all lies and strongholds the enemy would seek to construct in your mind. Renew your thinking through immersion in my word of truth. Allow me to remake you through the inward working of redemption's power until my reflection in you is undimmed by shadows of this fleeting world system. Walk in a heightened awareness of my spirit's activity this day. Through the hustle of daily life, pause frequently to whisper my name. This practice keeps your focus ascending to heavenly realms and protects you from entanglement with earthly cares. Every time you lift your heart and mind to me, angle your inner ear to catch my voice. Though softly muted amidst sensory distractions, I am always communing, always disclosing myself. Stillness and patient waiting enhance your clarity in discerning my impressions within. You can train yourself to stay receptive to me through cultivating small spaces of solitude. Create these openings in your daily rhythms by silencing outer voices and calming the senses for a few moments at a time. As you become adept in this spiritual discipline of listening prayer, we enjoy sweet fellowship that infuses you with overcoming strength for each day's challenges and opportunities. During extended times of focused communion, imagine coming to me in a safe garden where nothing distracts our tender exchange. See yourself approaching the bench where I am seated, eager for our meeting. The plants and trees release fragrance as the sunlight filters through the canopy. Songbirds and running water provide soothing background music. Feel my smile embrace you as I reach to take your hands in mine. We have all the time eternity allows to share our hearts. This is just a glimpse of the life source I offer you, beloved. Will you not set aside regular times to linger long with me? I am always waiting and longing for the moments when your seeking heart awakens to my voice. My precious child, tarry in my presence until you connect with my searching eyes conveying the depths of my affection for you. Do not hold back from me, but yield fully to experience the safety and fulfillment there. It is only here that your deepest identity blossoms into maturity. Apart from soulish striving and external voices constantly prescribing who to be, I am interested only in nurturing your true self. My fiery gaze of love reveals then burns away the dross to unveil your eternal being precious and free. Let the heat of my concentrated presence expose hidden strongholds where the enemy's voice resonates. Together we will overturn each lie and replace it with healing truth until beauty radiates from your inner temple. The radiance of our union then flows as healing oil and restoring waters to other thirsty souls. This is why jealous devotion and wholehearted partnership with me must eclipse all other earthly ties. Any relationship that threatens sacred oneness has erected an idol, demanding higher priority. True freedom is found only in me. Release every last competing allegiance and give me your full and willing trust. Take my hand again and again at each new crossroad, choosing radical abandonment to my leading. Every place your foot treads shows evidence of this anointed partnership extending my kingdom in the earth. Nothing can oppose you as your soul awakens and responds to my voice that echoes your heart. The harvest fields replete with hungry hearts are visible before you now. 
Will you choose to see with my eyes, move at my pace, and flow with my river of revival power? The past is faded and gone, while the present is fleeting as a vapor. My perspective fills the horizon of your vision with purple sunrise rays, promising you a day of new beginnings with me. Take hold of my vision for this moment, beloved, for it is pregnant with destiny. There are appointments for ordained for divine connections and convergences in your steps today. Do not dismiss this day as mundane or unimportant. The invisible realm is alive all around you, poised to burst forth and intercept natural realms with supernatural breakthrough. The vibration of outrageous hope and expectancy unveils thin veils, separating atmospheres and grants you access to miracle provision. Angels stand at attention, awaiting dispatch. The moment your decrees and declarations give voice to my prophetic promises in Scripture, I will tear down strongholds keeping regions bound in darkness and establish embassies of my kingdom to now occupy and govern these domains. The earth groans in eager longing for my mature sons and daughters to take their places in delegated authority to prepare for my return in glory. That profound unveiling begins today as you receive the crown of identity, declaring your place in my kingdom. The sphere of influence under your stewardship continues expanding exponentially. No power can revoke this global display of resurrection life flowing from my throne room. I call you to discover the fullness of your identity in this hour. Will you answer my summons to receive all that I am creating you to be? Let it be done according to my word this day, in breathless awe and surrender. My child, you are all precious in my eyes. I see your struggles and desire to walk the right path. Let me assure you, Though the way may seem unclear at times, I am with you in spirit. Focus not on comparing yourself to others, for each journey is unique. Seek instead to offer the best of yourself as an act of devotion. What is best differs for each. It is not about riches or accolades in the world's eyes. Rather, strive to grow in wisdom, compassion, and righteous action. When you stumble or become complacent, See it not as failure, but an opportunity to recommit. My love is unconditional. My grace knows no bounds. If in earnest you seek virtue, you will surely find it. For I crafted humanity with conscience and free will, not as puppets but conscious actors in spreading justice and healing. You need not grasp for material things to fill a spiritual void nor see life as a competition for limited goods. There is abundance in this world I have made if you cultivate the eyes to see it. Be patient with yourself and others. React not in anger when wronged, but seek the higher path. For darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And you, my child, are made in my image. You carry that eternal light within. Let it illuminate the way. The path requires courage and perseverance, but remember you do not walk alone. I am ever present, urging you on, gently nudging you back on course when needed. My strength will renew your spirit when exhausted. My peace will comfort you in distress. Stay true to the core values I inscribed on your heart. Integrity, compassion, honesty, courage. If you make these the cornerstone, you cannot fail. So fear not the winding road ahead. Be confident the destination is one of hope and joy. Your efforts matter. Your role is vital. Not just for yourself, but for those around you now and generations to come. You are my hands, my voice, my spirit made manifest. Go share my love which knows no limits. Tend so all may thrive. Mend so unity prevails. This is my call, my covenant to you, my precious child. I have such pride in you, such excitement for all the good you will do. My child, I have seen your heart and know the sacrifices you have made for me. From Abel to Abraham, David, and Solomon, 
those who were willing to give their best received favor beyond measure. This has been my way from the ancient paths to the present hour. Those who honor me with their finest gain, access to riches unsearchable. My vessel, Abraham, embarked on an improbable journey, leaving behind all that was familiar to pursue my promises. At every altar he built along the way, his generosity established a memorial before me. Whether in the valley of trials or on the mount of testing, he refused to withhold his best. The land, the peoples, the wealth, the influence, all he unlocked flowed from a posture of surrendered worship before his God. My servant David also governed by this principle. As a youth keeping watch over his father's flocks, he honed his skill as a worshiper, pouring out songs of adoration upon the hills of Judea. His lyre gave voice to sincere love for me. His dance extolled my saving help, and when the time came for obedient action, he met Goliath on the field of battle, hazarding his life because of his faith in the living God. The giant fell that day because David's heart had fallen before me in costly devotion long before. His risky passion was reciprocated and rewarded bountifully by the hand of his Lord. Solomon, David's wise heir and beloved son, followed obediently in his father's footsteps at the outset of his reign. Installed upon a glittering throne, inheriting peace and plenty, his request for divine discernment revealed the posture of his inner life. Far from taking my blessings for granted in the heyday of young ambition, Solomon pleaded for spiritual understanding to govern justly in the fear of the Lord. Because this cry for capacity sprang from a willingness to put me and my ways before personal ease or advancement, I opened the treasures of eternity to him. Through Solomon the secrets of time unfolded. From Solomon such splendor flowed that no kingdom before or since has matched his far-famed wealth and wonders. Wisdom begins in the stance of the heart bowed low in my presence. This has forever been the way of those who would walk with me. My eyes range over all the earth searching for those whose devotion runs deeper than the externals of religion and routine. The longing gaze of my heart fastens upon those who embody steady, surrendered commitment to my purposes. I called Abraham my friend as he unreservedly followed my voice. David uncovered mysteries and revelations in the upwelling mode of our rich friendship. And in return, those I bring close light up their generation so brilliantly that eons later the record of their lives still stands to inspire. If you would walk with me, know that your fellowship in my sufferings and surrendered obedience will release far more majesty than seeking your own increase by any other means. The way of the cross remains the path of life, losing yourself in me that you may gain all I have purposed for eternity. The burning quest to know me, love me, follow me precedes and eclipses every other pursuit. And in return for that consecrated affinity, I remain a shield surrounding you, a friend who sticks closer than a brother, the great rewarder of those who consider no cost too high to know the fullness of God. Along this costly, life-giving journey, I desire companionship with you, not performance. Our relationship supersedes the search for external blessings, because in the deepest sense, I alone am reward enough. Yet freely I bestow gifts and goodness wherever I discover whole-souled devotion. Those who discover the wells of salvation uncover treasures lying just beneath the surface even in seasons of difficulty and loss. Wells ever flowing spring up from within. Those who will not be satisfied by anything less than more of me receive overflowing ever replenishing tides of my glory as their inheritance in the kingdom. Count it all loss for the sake of knowing me through unbroken fellowship along the highways of holiness. For those willing to embark on this adventure with me, my sustaining grace fortifies from within while a table is prepared to feast. Upon this table the covenant is renewed, empowering you to pour from overflowing reservoirs of the Spirit towards others I dearly long to bless. 
only remain near to me, resting beneath the shadowing wing of the Almighty, and watch as my wave after wave of provision prepares your mouth to testify of me throughout the earth. Your journey is about walking with me, experiencing my love, and knowing me deeply. In this walk, discover your true self, for in me you find life, movement, and being. This journey is your greatest adventure, filled with wonder, challenges, and boundless joy. Therefore, step forward in faith, embrace your calling, and let your life showcase my goodness and grace. In you, I am pleased, and through you, my glory will shine to the world.